Hello, hello. What's going on tonight, single viewer? We are finally going to uh, do the giveaway tonight. I know it's, it's been, there's been so many people <laughs> involved in this giveaway. There's four people eligible. That, that's all right. That means one person, unfortunately, will not be walking away with something, but the other three will. And if whoever is watching, um, if you want to be eligible, Go to that link and comment if you're watching and you'll be eligible for the giveaway. The giveaway is let me get it here real quick. Giveaway is going to be uh, one person, well, two people. Yeah, what's up, boss? So, um, oh, just to let you know, boss, that I'm finally doing the giveaway that has kind of been ongoing over on my YouTube. If you comment um, the video in that link, I'm doing, I don't know if you're, you know, uh, any TCGs, but um, one person will, will get three packs of Flesh and Blood Crucible of War Unlimited. Another person will get three more packs. So two people will each get three packs and then one person will get a sealed uh, MetaZoo Nightfall pin. I don't know if I'm getting that. There we go. You get one pin, one promo card, and one mystery promo card. So, um, so giving that away tonight, um, and whoever's, you know, whoever jumps in on the video and wants to be eligible, um, it's just exclamation giveaway. And then you got to comment on that. Uh, YouTube video that it takes you to and you'll just be eligible um, that, well, I, I, that, That's nice of you it's Nice of you if 
Yeah. To let others be eligible, but not in the cards. Everybody's got their own thing, you know? Um... All right. How's your night going? Thanks for stopping by, Friday. What watch do you have? Oh, this was given to me as a gift um, by my father-in-law. It's Octon. Um, the Hold on. Probably got some. Probably got some. Uh, so you can kind of see it. It's a little dirty. The Blackfish Edition. Um, Octon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up. There we go. Ah. Yeah, I don't know if it's the... But it's Octon uh, Blackfish Edition. Um, I really like the back, the back plate is, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to get that, but yeah, the Seikos are, are nice. Um, in fact, this was, um, this Seiko was. My wife's grandfather's Seiko. Um, he was in the the Navy for most of his life, and he had this Seiko since like the '60s or '70s, and. That's it. Yeah, I'm having a hard time picking. But you can tell, I mean, he wore this thing so much. I'm just not getting. I mean, there's so many like it needs a new it needs new glass. But um Yeah, it's it's just like one of the old classics. You know, nothing crazy but uh you know it, it it means a lot because he recently passed away and passed it down to my wife and um i fixed it and i had to put a new um had to put a new battery in it to uh for it to to keep charge and um Thankfully, that's all it needed, and it's been working like a champ since. So. But yeah, it's, it's definitely like one of those family pieces that um, we'll just, you know, pass down to our, um, our kids, you know. I do want to, um, I love watches and I don't have that many. Um, and so it's something that I want to keep collecting over time, but I've got other things that I'm collecting too. Just too much, too many hobbies, too many. <laughs> but. How's your Friday night?
<laughs> but random hurts. Good one. You could always put them on your ankles. <laughs> All right, now there is. That's funny. Yeah, I would, I would definitely like to uh, extend my watch collection, but. Especially like some Seikos because they're not that expensive and they're great watches and it's just like a quality watch for, you know, and it doesn't break the bank. Yeah, 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 you gotta. You got to keep wearing them. I want to send them in both of these um, to get servicing, but like it didn't cost so much. It cost way too much. I don't think it's real. Cool. And go and focus on me tonight. It might. Glad it's Friday. Hope you had a good week. Hope you have a good Friday night. Ah. That's really cool. No. Um. It's real, like, precise. You have to, like, be steady with your hands. You know, like. I had a buddy, unfortunately, that that just passed that um, he painted miniatures, which was really cool. Uh, but that that's really, really detailed, small work. Intricate, I guess, or just I don't know if you're a dog lover or cat lover neither, but <laughs> well, I guess you just, you just really see its butt right now, but, uh, I didn't think about that moving this. Let me move this real quick. I know that's real like sketch, but there we go. He says, are they going into the Zoom? Um, they can, yeah. Um, I was going to like do a sound test with them, yes. So 
I want to see how these things feel and sound. Um, so tonight I'm going to try and do, um, I'll try and do all three. We're going to do the giveaway, We're going to finish lubing these switches. And then if it's not too late, um, then we'll throw these switches in the zoom. It currently doesn't have any foam in it, so um, we can, if, if we do it tonight, we'll do both. We'll do no foam, then we'll take it off, take the board, or take the board PCB out and everything, and load it with the foam, and then we can do another sound test. Looks like a happy small child. He, he is, he is, I wouldn't say he's spoiled, but he is a happy. Happy doggo. Um, how many cans are set up with your PC? Um, right now I've got three cameras, so the top down camera is an actual camera. It's a Canon, um, uh, 5D Mark IV. Yeah, 5D Mark IV. So my wife is a, a photographer. And so I'm kind of stealing her cameras right now, or well, her camera. And then my face cam is an iPhone 13. And then the dog cam or the side camera is an iPhone 12. So, <laughs> and I'm using them all on a Mac from 2011. Running OBS, and it's just like it's a, like I do drop frames, and you know, I'm running in 30 FPS, but this is about as good as it's gonna get. Um, so it is what it is. I mean, but doesn't bother me but hopefully hopefully i don't know in the near future gonna get some better equipment they still run great yeah i mean it for like daily use and even running um even doing iMovie or yeah I don't have like Final Cut Pro or anything like that but I, I just use like iMovie to like edit my videos because I don't really do too much I'm not that great at video editing but um yeah I mean it does good I don't play any games on it or anything but <laughs> I'm thinking about upgrading the, like that would be my next like major because it's been so long since I've like had a good new personal computer to a burner GPU to replace with a 2012. Um, I, I wouldn't mind having one of the new Mac minis, not the studio, but like, like this past year's Mac mini, or yeah, I guess it's Mac mini, because that's probably like sufficient enough to do like streams and to run, um, 
like Photoshop or Lightroom if I wanted to, or, you know, run iMovie. Yeah, the new M chips. That's, I'm sure they do. I mean, The studio, I think for me, would just be like overkill. It, I think it would be awesome, but I think it'd be probably a little bit overkill for me. So I'm trying to wait for like the new Mac Mini to come out, if they're going to come out. And then they might drop the price of you know, I could get like the current Mac Minis for a decent price. Yeah. 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 His paws are like twitching. He does that a lot. He's snoring. He used to, um, <laughs> he used to sleep he doesn't so much anymore but he used to sleep like with his face in the corner of like a wall and he would it was it looked like so painful he doesn't do it anymore but <laughs> is he a lab no he's a german shepherd he's a I think he's like an American Shepherd. Um, all white, which are pretty rare because you have to have an all to get a, a white Shepherd. You have to have an all white male and female, um, which I didn't know. Cause like if. You, you know, you breed anything different, then, you know, they'll turn out a different. At least that's what I've heard. I mean, I don't know how 100% that is, but. And they also say the white German Shepherds get a little more aggressive as they get older, or like more defensive, I've heard as well. But he's only like, he's only like six, I think. Um, so he's not that old yet. Yes, yes, he is. Like we have hair everywhere. If you do not vacuum, we we got a pretty small house and um only one room has carpet now because we've replaced the the carpet and all the rooms with uh, linoleum floors or not linoleum but the um, what do you call it? The vinyl, like plank flooring, but um, if you don't like vacuum like two or three times a week, like it just gets everywhere. You end up, you, you just can't keep it out of your clothes, especially with him being white. He needs to go to the groomer, like, and, and get a bath he he's dirty i think it helps if you go take him to you know get groomed and stuff he won't shed as bad but but yeah he's got that real like brittle kind of it's not super brittle but it's just like a different 
you know, kind of hair. He's a good boy. A good boy, though. Do you have any animals or any pets, I guess I should say? Sorry about that. Uh oh, we got. I was gonna say we got some drop frames and some craziness going on. understand that because when this guy's gone um I'm gonna probably hold off we'll probably hold off on having a having a dog for a while cause Oh, nice. That's cool. That's how. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, boy. Yeah, you can kind of see him a little bit, a little bit better. He's like not really like all white either. As I mean, he was as a puppy. He looked like a little polar bear um, when he was a puppy, but he started, you know, getting that cream. Like a cream collar uh, to him. Which is cool. But backyard chickens, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, it's, I've known a few people that that um, have had chickens like that and some hens. Um, yeah, nice, you know, fresh eggs. And it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it was good for the eggs. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you save a little bit of money, you know? Plus, you know, you know, you know what you're eating. Because, you know, you know what you're feeding them.
Then the unwanted pet rodents. Came a few years after that, so the chickens went to it. <laughs> pet rodents? Like, what do you mean? Cats? Or... and mice that sucks I didn't know that maybe because like their their poop or something I don't know that's weird I didn't know that though yeah that sucks like something that you don't want to have to deal with when it comes to that, you know? Are we slowing down? Dropping frames? Just uh, keyboard shortcuts for right now. I'm trying to get one of those. Uh, I'm waiting on that. Have you seen the um, the macro pad uh, treasure nine? It's like the treasure nine series three. Maybe that's about to, to come out. They're just USB into the Mac. Um, yeah, so I've got a, um, just a cheap, um, capture card, um, for that, that goes into the Canon, um, and then, um, both iPhones are, um, uh, actually this is USB into the Mac and I'm actually this, um, uh, the dog cam, I guess you would say, um, is actually wireless right now. Um, because I don't have it enough. I don't have any open USB ports on that Mac right now. Yeah, so I think things would be running like a lot smoother if, uh, if I had HDMI input into the, uh, the Mac. 
but yeah. Um, I'm surprised that it's holding, you know, holding up. Um, so. Can't look great. The focusing is too, but it works. Yeah, it. I could manually focus it, um, which I will here in, here in a minute. It's. I I like. She was actually having to um mess with the fo her focus today so i was told not to um uh not to mess with the focus uh which i don't because you know she um the lens is a sigma uh 35 lens which is an awesome lens it's like her main go-to lens um it's a really great lens and i i probably could it's probably overkill for the stream because i could probably use the kit well this didn't come the the 5d i just bought the body on the 5d mark IV. um but she has a kit lens and I probably should use that because I could just quickly zoom in and in and out. And focus wise, it'd probably be a little bit better. Um, I might try that actually next next stream because this lens it has no zoom, so um, it's just it's what you get, you know. So. But it's a great lens, like it's it's a an amazing lens for like um red bracket firing straight down yeah it's like uh i've got a uh, i can show you Hold on. Uh, and I'm trying to upgrade my desk right now. This is an old, small, but right, right here, just this bracket mount, and it's mounted like overhead, like that. It's real, like, sketch, <laughs> but. But I mean, it works for right now, you know, I would love to, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's like, um, oh, let me see what he's, let me see if we're, if we're good over here. Here, we'll go back to the we'll go back to this stream but yeah i mean it works perfect for now um but uh it's not like if i shake or move like it it'll move the camera and I, it's not secure, like mounted to something else, but the desk and this desk is not um, that stable. Um, I kind of want to hold out and get like a solid piece of wood, 
or a new uh, desk. But I think I'm going to break down and get an Ikea countertop, which a lot of people do. Um, it's a common, I guess, streamer thing, right, to, to get an Ikea desk. And, but, I mean, it, it would be perfect for me because if I can get something that's like 74 inches, 72 inches long and like, 24 inches wide it'd be perfect i could get a lot of stuff off of the floor and do some more some better cable management have more space to to build and you know you know build some do some different stuff because I've got like, you know, some other stuff I want to do on stream, of course, you know, what or video like YouTube or whatever. But, but yeah, thanks. I mean, I, I'm trying to make do with what I have instead of like, I would love to get new lighting a new kit, like one new camera. And, and then my, like, re, just redo the desk, which I don't think would cost, like, a ton of money. How long have I been streaming on Twitch? Not long at all. Like, I would say, um, probably... past couple months maybe I think my first video was like two or three months ago maybe um, and I've been doing like YouTube stuff for the past like year or I think it's been a full year now maybe um, ah thank you Thank you. I appreciate it. Big time. Um, yeah, and because I started out like doing um, YouTube stuff first, because uh, I didn't think about doing Twitch at first and I was doing trading some some Magic the Gathering and some uh, a little bit of Pokemon and and some MetaZoo stuff. Um, I I got about sixty, I think like about, right about I think it's fifty or sixty subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty cool. I never honestly thought that I would even get that many so um let's put this aside real quick because it's gonna take me a minute to do no oh, i didn't want to do that i'm just getting this all over the place but yes i appreciate the follow man that is man or woman But thank you, boss. That, that's awesome, man. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try to kick it in the full gear here because this is, we've got. It's gonna take me a minute to do these films. I'm gonna try and do them pretty fast if I can. Figure out if this is the. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I, I um, just trying to, I haven't spent as much time as I've wanted to, um, like doing animations and overlays and I need to work on that stuff and I need to, need to work on like, uh, just some graphic stuff. And I really want to like be able to do some keyboard related uh, giveaways, which I think I've probably got, um, I think I've got something I could give away pretty soon that's uh, keyboard related. And I just like to give away stuff like I'm not when I give away stuff I'm not like really trying to gain any followers because like if people want to follow me or uh, subscribe to me on like YouTube and stuff then cool if you don't I don't really care I mean I do care but you know what I mean I'm not going to like beg for followers and stuff. The key building content on Twitch is tough to break into with it being. Yeah, I mean, I've kind of noticed that because like I watch a lot of keyboard uh twitch content like alex otos and um of course teha um and which are like the big names you know um and it's yeah like i've heard it's super it is a super niche thing to get into but I, I mean I don't I'm not really you know any of the KB um, discord servers to promote um, but I'm not really in it to like become I don't feel like I'm in it to become like regular like keyboard streamer. I don't know. I don't really have like I guess like a main goal except for just to like hang out with people, you know, talk and like and build a community, you know, like, I think that would be kind of cool. Um, but mainly just to like, talk to people and give away stuff and, you know, just like have a good time. Um, you know, cause I think you can, like, people can have an impact on each other. Um, you know, even just through stream and like not actually meeting one another and like, do you believe any of the keyboard discord server or do you belong? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm a member of like, um, you know, I've joined a bunch of discord, uh, servers, um, not to promote myself no because i think some of them you gotta like they lock it you know to where um hold on let me let me see if i can well actually no we're not dropping any frames we're we're not too yeah we're not too bad right now um I was going to switch up something, but, um, 
anyway, sorry. Uh, I am members of a lot of Discord, keyboard, and trading card, um, and gaming. Not a lot of gaming uh, Discord servers, but like I haven't like tried to promote myself on there. Maybe I should. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I've been working on the Discord for my Twitch and YouTube, um, but like managing a Discord is new to me. Um, so I've been like trying to read up on it. Um, You know as much as i can and i've got it like started and i've got some rules laid out and you know stuff like that but nothing major i um I used to game a lot more than I do now. And like, I realized like when I was playing games back in the early days of Twitch and stuff, I didn't think streaming would take off like it did. And so me and, me and my Xbox friends like never, I mean, I guess we just never thought about streaming, you know? I never thought it would take off. I mean, it's it's like a whole nother world now uh, compared to its early days. Uh, but would have been nice to start out like a while ago. But, yeah. I mean, maybe I should get on there and promote myself more. I don't know. I, uh... I don't know. Probably not gonna, you know, get any, uh... A lot of viewers if I don't promote myself, but... I don't know. I don't know if I feel comfortable like doing that. It's kind of kind of weird. I mean, I do have an Instagram and I'm like, I hope that like in hopes of like, like people see like the stream and they're like, oh, cool. Yeah. But I haven't been like, I don't have it set up so that when I go live, like it like post to all my social media and I need to get that set up but um yeah so there's still a lot of work to be done I've got a little two and a half year old and I was um you know, taking, uh, I was taking classes this semester at a local tech school. So, uh, my local tech is college, you would say. So it's been pretty busy. Been pretty busy. All right, film, film. Did I miss any? Oh, good. All right. All right, we're done. We're not done with these, but we're done filming. Hopefully. Um. What about you? Do you stream at all, or do you? All right. Do you just like uh, view and join the communities and like discords and stuff and interact? Um, 
next piece. Yes, next piece. These things are useful. I watch them like several different concerts. Yeah, I mean, I do the same. Like, just lurk around, roam around different Twitch channels and YouTube channels. Um, just curious, I mean, no, no reason, just getting a little more comfortable with it, like it, it was, it's, it's weird at first, I guess, like it's like nervous, like, I don't know, I'm introvert, I'm like a big introvert and like, introverted, I guess, um, so, It's definitely me uh, stepping out of my comfort zone, you know. I watch it, yeah, mainly follow a few IRL streams. In what is that? In real life? Is that is that what that means? I the uh, that's probably not what it means, right? I don't know. Then I'll follow the keyboard discord communities and reddit to learn about the hobby. Yeah. Yeah, reddit too. Reddit's another big... Um... But is that what that means? Reddit streaming. Oh, and it... While oh, doing technical build. What the, streaming and interacting while doing a technical build. Yeah. Um, what's IRL? Like, in real life, yeah. So they travel, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. That's what I thought it meant, but I just wasn't certain. So I, I'm a network engineer, so I have a million different acronyms in my job. So, like, these abbreviations and acronyms are just, like, too much, too much. Um, but that's cool. I, um, I haven't really watched a lot of, like, really any of that. That's, that's interesting. I, I would, I might have to check some of that out. It seems really cool. Oh, you work in IT, sweet. That's cool. Do you enjoy it? Cutting down and slowly moving. Okay. Yeah, I got into watching while I work from home. I mean, I would say, yeah, like, I've only been on YouTube and, and making videos and stuff for the past year, year and a half. I think it's only been like a year though. Um, and I, I, I mean, that stuff definitely boomed, you know, the past two, two, three years, uh, cause of COVID and everybody staying home, and trying to keep their, you know, trying to 
stay um, entertained and finding different avenues to, you know, There were a few biking streamers in New York City. Like, like you mean like mountain biking or like, like when COVID was going on, like they were like biking around the city or something like streaming. Sorry, I'm asking a lot of questions. <laughs> um, where is? Oh, we have thirty frames. And streams plays music while he runs deliveries. That's cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. What? That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. I think it brings people closer together too. Like, I never looked at it that way. The equipment to do is, is quite different than, yeah. I would say, yeah, you gotta have like fast motion stuff, right? And, um, definitely best to get like 60 frame 60 definitely smooth 60 frames per second with like the um what are they called gambles or i forget what they're called like the whatever you know what i'm called you know what i'm talking about um are they called gambles or i don't know i shouldn't know this but um, but yeah, like I'm sure it's way different, like the equipment that you need and like, I mean, you got to think about like, you know, battery packs, I mean, you know, instead of like AC power, you know? as a startup to build a mobile streaming box equivalent to live view. Ooh, that's, that's smart. Jeez. Yeah, that, that is, uh, one of those multi-million dollar ideas. Not just a million dollar idea that that's huge you can build you know a successful high frame rate clear 4k or you know HD uh, streaming device all in one like mobile My springs are just jacked right here. No. I'm gonna have to do this by, by hand because he's got all messed up. That's really neat.
yeah, I think it's kind of cool that, you know, like, I feel like streaming, I, and I've never looked at it that way, where, like, I really feel like it does bring, like, as a whole, it brings the world a little bit closer, kind of like the internet did in the first place. Like, it brings everyone a little bit closer together and you can you can discover like culture you can discover like new hobbies you can discover like places you know just sitting down at your desk watching or your your tv you know you can learn about other countries and you can learn about anything like cooking and I don't know to me it's like the next evolution of like TV essentially like streaming I feel like is like going or it already has I guess you know revolutionized like live TV in a sense because like you could you could not have any TV subscription not have netflix not have any of that and not pay for twitch and just sit on twitch all day sit on youtube all day and watch live stream you know and be entertained like you can find all kinds of you know new stuff or copies that you like you know it's pretty crazy it's crazy stuff Yeah, I just think it's, I think it's really, that, that aspect of it's really cool. I've been watching a lot of, which, I don't know, I, like, I want to, like, I don't believe really in it that much, um, but Asper's site, watch the niche content that isn't available elsewhere yeah I need to watch some different stuff because like I tend to get into like a, a mode where like I, I do it with music too so like I'll listen to you know I'll get locked into an artist or two and like that's just like all I listen to over and over again and then and then eventually like i'll take a break and move on to something else and I, that's just you know kind of get locked into i guess watching streams and videos that's same same kind of way you know um I have I watch I like started to watch a guy do some 3D printing um on a stream the other day. Press the owner can view their um <laughs> from a <afar. laughs> That's yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean it's it's definitely interesting and different, you know. I was watching some guy, he had three 3D printers like rolling at the same time to build. I don't know if he was building a keyboard case or what he was building. But that's, um, my mother-in-law 3D printed, uh, this 
display for me. And I painted it. I mean, you can tell it's definitely like, and then like the bottom, you know, but I painted it. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, if you want to do something and you don't want to, and plus I saw they have like, they have a uh, wood filament for, for 3D printers, which is pretty crazy. Like, that's not cool. But uh, I would love, I'll tell you what I would really like to do is, um, try to make, try to have my own printing a case for 40% that I need to build. Yeah, that would be awesome to be able to print a 3D print, like a top and bottom case, like a split case or just like a solid one piece. That would be cool. Um, I would love to have prototype I would love to be able to render something up keyboard uh, case wise um, a case but uh, a keyboard build and have a local um, tooling company or machinist be able to CNC a piece of aluminum or two pieces of aluminum just to see like if it would be possible locally in the states and how much it would cost because i think it would be kind of cool to to produce um to be able to like produce a really cool custom keyboard in the u.s you don't have to you know have it shipped from china or singapore and the painting the seracoding or or the painting can be done locally and the machinist you know the machining can can be done locally i think that would be um that would be really awesome but i'm sure it would be super expensive But uh, yeah, 3D printing is cool. It's something that I'm very late to the game on. I've never like tried, I've never owned a 3D printer. I feel like I would just like make a ton of stuff. My wife would probably kill me. We got Got too much 3D printed stuff. That's really cool, 3D printing a case. Um Or 40. I've never used a 40 before and um, I did jump in on the, the group by for the Smith and Ruin Iron 160 um, That will be um, the first sixty percent.
I think. Yes. Yes. It'll be my first 60%. So that one will be really fun to build, um, especially on stream. You know, that's going to be a special, special day. Um, It's going to be a long way off. It's going to be next year, probably, for that one. But, uh, it'll be worth it. All right, yeah, thanks for uh, sticking around and chatting. Um, it was really cool chatting with you. And thank you for um, the follow on the channel. So, I mean, thank you for spending time with me on your Friday night, it was really cool, thank you. And um, have a good weekend. Yep, see you next time. Boy be sleeping. He is sleepy. Sleepy puppy.
Do I still have one viewer? Well, one viewer is still here. Thank you for sticking around on your Friday night to hang out with me. And Cass, oh, sleepy ass in the corner over there. He needs to get up and participate. But highly doubt that's going to happen. So. But. I'm just as lazy as he is these days. switch it up and have this camera but also like him instead of excuse me instead of me If you're still hanging out, I don't know if anybody's here, but if you are, we have eight zero zero eight ink switches from Omnitype um, or Boob Ink switches. If you're immature like me and remember the days that you spelled boob on a calculator um, with 8008, but um, <laughs> and these have a Adiron
yellow spring. I did get some spritz strings, but the springs, but some slow springs the, the other day, but I'm saving some of those. Something else. Open some of my some of my people that are in the giveaway stop by hopefully. It's alright if they don't because I'll take the uh I'll put the video up on YouTube as well. Just so announce the winners and they know who they are and Get a good. There we go. Tell us to switch. I really should move my keyboard out the way. Is it really still not want to do?
So about six switches left. <laughs> there was seriously an eyelash. And I got stuck. Yeah. What are you gonna lose there? And nothing new to do. Trying to catch this on stream as best as I can.
three more. And then we can start putting our housings together. And we will be done moving. Don't get too excited there, buddy. Last one. Okay, so now comes the final part here. As we grab these things. This. What happened to our music? Got quiet. I'm probably going to need this. Got this process. I'm going to turn the noise gate off, but I'm going to bring down my um, decibels, my dBs here. Hopefully, it's not too loud, at least on the, uh, the mic wise. Let's do... Switch it up and let's like
something like this. It's fine. Yeah. I forgot we're not doing that. We're not doing it. We're gonna move this way. These lined up as best as possible. Let's slam these things down and just keep moving. Switch back over to this so we can catch this on the stream a little bit. All right, we're gonna have to take cast cam off for a little bit here. Eight and up, oh. Yeah, that's a little better. Cash, you were eating up on my, on my throughput there, buddy.
There we go. We're cruising. We are cruising. And now I'm shaking. So.
Yeah, these things are going in smooth now. This is a nice switch um, to film here. I feel like it's a good, good decision. They do sound good um, without being filmed. I mean, they sound honestly decent stock. Excited to see how these feel. Three months. Sorry, my eyes are bothering me. My, my eyes go real quick under this light. Pull my contacts in. That's it. That is it. All right, so. We can put up some stuff here real quick. Set some stuff aside. Try not. Break anything. Turn this back up. Yeah. Let's get this 
Ja, die... So yeah, uh, 70 boob ink switches, eight, eight, zero, zero, eight switches by um, Omnitype. They are uh, Gateron eight, zero, zero inks. That's a cute little switch there. Oh, you know. <sighs> Let's get a better. We can get a better shot of that. Come on. Come on. Ah, there it was. It. I'm sorry. But for whatever reason. The focus just like really does not want to uh, let's do this. There we go. Anyway, whatever. I'll try. I don't have anything that's enough. All right, so give me just a second. We're gonna try and do this without. Hopefully you can see the screen here. Um, so I've got the link in there. There are four. Well, let's do a refresh. It's going to take it a minute. And hopefully nothing crashes. Okay, so four eligible uh, people we got Mason Price, who I'd like to mention has been subscribed for seven months to the YouTube channel. Awesome, Wyatt Bingham RL. And Adriana Bingham. So, and these are some friends of mine. All friends of mine. Mason, you're a friend too. So, 
four people are eligible. Cast types, you're not eligible. So, for third place, we're doing three packs and I'll shuffle these up. All right. And I've handled these carefully so they should not be damaged. And they are fresh out of a box that I opened not too long ago. I saved six packs just for this occasion. Um, there we go. And I'm being gentle, it may not look uh, I don't have the camera on you can't I'm guessing nobody just saw that but I shuffled the packs so the first three packs of flesh and blood crucible war unlimited um, just I just want to sorry I know it's awful all right so the first three packs go to um, we're not going to include replies because that was the only one that replied so anything goes no duplicates uh, the same person can't win like two I want to you know give three people you know I, I want it to go to three separate people so Four comments. Wyatt, you win the third place prize of three packs of flesh and blood. And in fact, actually, um, give me just a second. Okay, I gotta So just so I keep track of it. Third place. Wyatt. Wyatt B. Three packs of Flesh and blood. Alright, I got a bubble mailer, which you will see. Alright, on my desk once we switch back over. So Wyatt, congrats. Thanks for um thanks for joining in. Alright, and three comments left. So the next is second place, which is three more packs of Flesh and Blood Crucible War Unlimited. And Mason, you win those three packs. So congrats. Let me get another piece of paper here. Actually, I've got like a little piece of paper for this one. So Mason, congrats. Mason P, second, I guess I'll put second place. There was only four, so only one, one person is not gonna go away with something, so. Um, all right, for the Meta Zoo. Last one, RL, congrats, RL on the, Mezu sealed, 
first place winner. All right. All right, there you have it. Let's go back over here to, yeah, so there you have it. We got Mason, well, we'll do first place. RL, first place, Nightfall, MetaZoo, um, MetaZoo Nightfall sealed pin club. Second place, Mason Price with three packs of flesh and blood. Third place um, was Wyatt three sealed packs of flesh and blood as well. So I've got these. I'm going to go ahead and slide these in the bubble mailer. And I'll probably not mail these like it just in this. I'll probably put them. Yeah, I'll put them in another box. Um, they do pretty good about not bending these, but I don't want to risk it. So these will go in this and then we'll go inside of another box so um so you don't have to worry about that um i just ask that the winners i'm going to post this video on uh, this vod on youtube and I, in the description i'll have uh the winners Shouldn't have wasted like a whole sheet of paper. Really sorry. It's probably really loud. My bad. But um so I'll I'm gonna fix all this up later. You won't see it, it'll be nice. Um but yes, and of course this will be shipped. Um this, I don't think this box fits in one of these and I don't want to damage it. So, um, that'll go in its own box. So there it is. Um, congrats to the four participants that I had. Excuse me. And congrats to, I mean, I'm sorry. Congrats to the three people out of four that participated um, I'll get those mailed out um, as soon as possible um, probably which would will be Monday Tuesday actually it'll be when you send me your mailing information so um, I just asked that I'm gonna put the winners in the description of the video um, and also, if you watch the video uh, up until this point, you'll know who won. Um, I, I'll send you, and you need to contact me through email, so casttypes at gmail.com. Um, I'll send you a confirmation code, and then you'll need to send me your uh, mailing information, and I'll get that stuff shipped out ASAP, uh, hopefully next week. So, um, and it is midnight um, with, I think, only one person here or maybe nobody's left. I'm not for sure. It looks like only one person is still here. Um, so you will be seeing a uh, typing test, a sound test, um, if you will, for these. Um, or I'll do another stream. Maybe I'll put these in the Maze 64. It's got an aluminum plate um, and an aluminum body, of course, but maybe we'll do it in there um, instead of the Zoom. Um, I'm thinking about doing, doing that or at least maybe putting them in the Zoom first with no phone, see. See what they sound like but um thanks boss for the the follow um thanks for everybody that jumped in and, and watched um the probably very boring stream of me lubing switches um but i'm glad we we could finally do the giveaway and 
Um, I'll try to put together um, something else to give away on, on my next stream. Uh, I want to do a giveaway on stream, so um, let me turn off this annoying song though. This is, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would love to keep doing giveaways. And those giveaways are probably gonna, for the most part, be like maybe a lot of TCG stuff. I want eventually to to be able to give away some um, keyboard related uh, things. I'm getting there. That I, th I think that might be my next giveaway. So um, so stay tuned and jump into the stream whenever you see me because. Um, I want to uh, give back to the community so and the people that watch my my content so um, thanks everybody for watching that dropped in um, if you check out the VOD or my YouTube thank you for going over there um, and I'm not gonna say it so um, I'm just gonna say everybody have a great weekend happy Mother's Day don't forget um, happy Mother's Day and do something for your mama. Um, and rest in peace for um, all the moms out there that are no longer with us. So uh, love you. Love you, everybody. And have a great weekend. Stay safe.